Let's see if I can get this right. Take 1,563 and a third. I've been having a problem with Microsoft Expression Encoder for screen capture tool. When I start the program, it doesn't recognize my microphone. So using the Windows snipping tool, I created a few screenshots. And between that and Coder, I made a video on how to fix the problem. So as you can see, you start the program and the microphone isn't highlighted, it's not recognized. So you would click the gear and then the audio tab and there's nothing there. So to fix the problem you click cancel and then leave the program running. You want this on the screen while you're doing the fix. Go down and click your start button and then go up and click computer and then click system properties up here at the top and I'm using Windows 7 by the way and over here on the left you see device manager click that and then come down your list of devices and find the one that says sound video and game controllers and double click it and there will be a list of all your audio devices now right click on the first one and then click disable and it pops this window and you would click yes and you would do that for every device listed under this uh, area but for the sake of the demonstration so you can hear me talk I'm gonna click no so pretend I clicked yes and then do that for each device right click click disable click yes right click click disable then click yes and then immediately after you do that go back to the first one on the list and right click it again and where it says disable it will now say enable click enable and then right click the next one and where it says disable it will say enable click enable do the same thing for the last one. Right click and click enable. And that will fix the problem. Um, I had more time and I played around with it. And on my particular computer, I actually only have to right click and disable and enable the very last one. If you've got the time, go through all the ones that are listed on your computer do them individually maybe you only have to do one too but to be sure and you don't want to take the time to play with each one individually just disable them all and then enable them all and that will fix the problem but there is one problem with this fix every time you start the program you have to do this again so if anybody knows how to uh, do it permanently I'd appreciate a lesson on how to do it so close all this stuff and then you'll come back to your main screen and you'll see that the um, microphone still isn't highlighted so click on the gear and then your audio tab and now you'll have a list and in my case, there's my microphone, my Realtek high definition audio. So you put a check mark in it and click OK. Go to the next picture, like that. Then click OK. And when you come out of it, your microphone will be highlighted in red. That means it's operating. After that, all you have to do is click your record button select the area of the screen that you want to record and you're good to go um, I hope this works for you and if, like I said if anybody knows how to do a permanent fix so you don't have to do it each time you start the program I'd appreciate a, a 
lesson on how to do it. I uh, hope this helps your problem in the meantime. Uh, appreciate any subscriptions or suggestions on how to do this. Hope it works for you. Thanks. Bye.